Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2. And one of you asked me to use Galaxy Class, Sovereign Class, Sentry Class, and Excalibur Class versus the Borg. And uh, quite frankly, that is not possible, because the max amount of command points I can get is 100,000 command points, and that is not enough to get all four ships. So I have the highest level of Galaxy Class here. Um, and a Sentry class, and an Excalibur class, but no Sovereign class. And we will be fighting against the Borg, because um, without this, I only had 18,000 command points left over, and that is not enough to buy a Sovereign class, because Sovereign class costs 28,000 command points. So yeah, there was no way that was going to happen. But I do have these three ships here, so if I hit Engage, you will see that we have another Federation team assisting us against two Borg fleets. They are both on AI Medium. Um, I think I'll put these guys in AI hard just to do it. And we are at Alpha Centauri, and yeah, that's pretty much all that needs to be said. We are in the next generation era, so like I said, we have 100,000 command points, and so does the enemy, and this ship is jimungus. That's not really a word, I don't think, but if it was, that would perfectly describe it. I'm actually going to send everyone over here to help with the uh, AI hard guys. I don't use this ship often enough. Oh yeah, take that, you Borg scum. This, this thing is... It's enormous. Look at the size of this. It's like a, a flying space station. I mean, the Borg cube is too, but... For a Federation ship, this is ridiculously large. Like, by the fact of its sheer mass and structure alone, this thing would be hard to destroy. There's so much metal there. Oh, we have the Enterprise. Yeah, we do. Enterprise F. But I don't think Picard was on the Enterprise F, but whatever. Let's grab this thing. The Venture Refit. Okay, it looks like these two cubes, which are ridiculously huge, are uh, really doing a lot of damage to our allies. They only have two ships left. Our allies, that is. And whoop. We have an obelisk on us right now. Stand by to fire phases. Firing phases on the obelisk. Can I do anything with my attract beam now? Okay, I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's not helping enough. We need to take out this tactical cube. And I will grab the Excalibur class again. Don't know why they're so far away and not actually in the battle. Now it says I have a lock, but I cannot fire, although, yeah, I guess that makes sense since I'm out of front torpedoes. Don't know where all those torpedoes came from. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. They're repairing too fast. Enterprise. That's the issue. We're not focusing our fire enough. I'm putting all the power to the weapons. Yeah, well, whatever you just said, Jordy, you do that. Alright. I think you replaced some isolinear chips and made us uh, have more oomph Target to our phasers. Oh, that's a big boom. Yeah, 
Oh, a lot of things just hit the shields. Main ventral phasers are offline. Oh. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Get us out of here. Sir, we're dropping down the port. Phasers are offline. Enterprise. Excalibur standing by. Four vessel destroyed. Sensors indicate new contact. Photons lock on target. Things quickly got really bad. Like, really bad. As in, we have no allies, really. Bad. Come on. Need to... There we go. Got him. Even though I still have no weapons, my weapons are working. I don't know how that works, but okay. And they're really powerful, too. Is that an Achilles class? Yeah, that's an Achilles class. Our weapons are coming back online. Oh, well that's great. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. That's such a strange ship design. It doesn't look Federation, exactly. Looks like there's some, some sort of alien influence. We got that probe or rectangle or whatever it was. I'm just gonna do this. Laser recharge rate at minimum. We will actually just look at this to our own. Excalibur standing by. Okay, let me grab this galaxy class. Seeing that we're not doing that much damage to this obelisk. I need some help. There we go. Now we can do some damage. At least one of those torpedoes locked on. Okay, let's stop preparing. Launch torpedoes. Message boys have lost jets. Attempting to contact Starfleet. Take us into war. We are having some serious issues. I don't care about my assimilation being inevitable, I just want to destroy you. Yeah, take that. You can take your assimilation and stuff it in a place that we don't want to talk about. So. We destroyed something. What did we destroy? I don't know. Their weapons, hopefully? There we go. And they are still fighting that obelisk. Jeez, just give up already. Oh no, the cube is on me now. Why did I do that? Okay, no, it's fine. Okay. Come on, Excalibur. Do your Excalibur doing things. Come on, torpedoes. Oh yeah, we have this battle won. We are the Borg. And the yellow guys are still alive. Our allies are making it through this. Torpedo, I had no idea what it was trying to do. Borg vessel destroyed. Alright. The Borg have been destroyed. You can see it on the map here. Alright. 
The Federation has prevailed. We will not be assimilated today. Alright, well that battle took just under 9 minutes. I got 7 kills there. Our allies got no kills, but they didn't lose all of their ships either. So that was a really good battle. Especially since we were going up against hard AI Borg and medium AI Borg. Although we did have pretty powerful ships. Uh, but still, that was a pretty intense fight. So if you guys enjoyed this battle, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more. If you guys did not like this video, I do apologize for that. Please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make. So that hopefully you guys can enjoy them. And as always, if you guys want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about that. I will read those and I'll try to use those ideas in my future videos. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time.